Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to the third episode of How to Program Drums in FL Studio 10. In the previous video, I showed you guys how to use the FPC and a bit of piano roll programming. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys the sounds of Addicted Drums because uh, the programming is very similar, uh, if not almost exactly the same. So, let me get on with it. You guys heard a bit and a sneak peek of a few drums in here. I'm just going to skip over to, you know, some other drums here, uh, effective, affected drum kits. Now this is just a funk pack, addictive uh, drums pack. Right, so you can get an idea of what kind of sounds you can get if you want to bring it back to the vintage years. Uh, you can do so. I have a retro pack here, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different style and affected drums. We can go for some modern drums, big sizes. Everybody likes big. That's what she said. Now let's move on to another one. Go on to some other drums here. And I'm simply just playing off a whole bunch of beats and rhythms and grooves or whatever you want to call them. And there's a whole lot, as you can see. Uh, some are demos, but um, you can go ahead and just click one and listen to the types of music, genres, different styles of grooves, tempos, timing. some house drums in there. I like I like this one. Hey, 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 hey. Right? And uh, I also want to show you guys this other one for those hip-hop, R&B, urban kind of music. I have something called Real Machines. And this is just another ad pack. Addicted Drums Pack. And it's uh, basically 808s, 909s, electric drums. And uh, the 808s and 909s I've been uh, run through Two inch tape, so it sounds pretty amazing. Let me give you an example of some of the stuff here. Use this, let's use a hip hop kind of rhythm, old school swingy type of hip hop. Okay, let's go back to the kits so you can see what they look like. And here we go, into the tape 808s. You can already hear how nice and warm it sounds. All that tape compression. This is my favorite. Uh. Hey. Here's another one, it's really good. Right, and uh, let's go into some other stuff here. Really subtle drums here. I like. I really like this actually. The programming would be exactly the same. So let me just really quickly go over that. Uh, again, if you've missed out in the second video, you can always go back and check. But we're going to go into the step sequencer, right click, piano roll, and here you go. All of the drums laid out. The only problem is that it's not labeled for you like the FPC, but that's fine. You can go ahead and just you know, scan or just hit your MIDI keyboard and look for the sounds you want. I've done some programming on the addictive drums, so I pretty much know where all the sounds are. And uh, I'm going to create something something very subtle, 
since I'm already on a subtle kit. And I'm going to definitely lower the BPM. It's way too fast. And there we go, something very typical. We can even increase this, make it longer. You just actually copy this and paste. Your simple control copy, control C, control V. Add some snares. I'm gonna cut that off. There we go. Maybe go backwards on the velocities. A trick to the humanizing is to have very different velocities. Um, really helps on getting that right sound. All right there we go. We can also go inside of our addictive drums here and just switch out things that we don't like. There we go. We can also add some effects here. The reverb is already on. You have another reverb over here. And of course, you can control the delay on here if you wanted to or increase or decrease. It's very, very nice this program. Very intuitive. So the great thing about this is that you have real sounding drum kits right at your fingertips, ready to go. And if you don't want to make a complex beat just to get uh, you know, some of your melodies or chords or ideas down, you can go ahead and look in here and just find something that would match, right? So guys, that's basically it for my tutorial and show off of Addictive Drums. Um, this is the last video of how to program FL Studio drums in three easy ways. You can go back and check video one for the step sequencer or video two for the FPC. And again, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in another episode.